William Worrell Mayo influenced the beginning of the Mayo Clinic. He had a curious and remarkable life. He was the descendant of famous English chemist John Mayo, who in 1668 first recognized and proved the existence of oxygen. W. W. Mayo was born in England in 1819, where he studied science and chemistry. Mayo left for New York City to work as a pharmacist, but soon moved west to attend medical school. First he trained in Indiana, but finished his MD degree in Missouri. There in Missouri, he was troubled with recurrent bouts of malaria, which he blamed on the southern heat. This brought him to move north to Minnesota for a healthier climate. He lived in several Minnesota towns, including St. Paul, Duluth, Lesur, before finally moving to Rochester. During those times, W.W. supplemented his medical practice by tailoring, farming, operating a ferry service, serving as a justice of the peace, and publishing a newspaper. He was called to serve as a physician during the devastating Dakota Indian War of 1862, which ended near New Ulm, Minnesota, and concluded with the hanging of 38 Dakota Sioux Indians. In 1864, young Dr. Mayo moved to Rochester, bringing his wife Louise, three daughters, and young son William James, or Will. He came for a job with the draft board to perform examinations for the Army. After the Civil War, this five foot four tall man, called the Little Doctor, set up medical practice in Rochester. His second son, Charles Horace, or Charlie, was born there. While W.W.'s practice became busy, he served as alderman, school board member, mayor of Rochester, and member of the Minnesota State Senate. In 1883, a destructive tornado came through Rochester and Mayo turned for help to the Sisters of St. Francis, a teaching order with little medical experience. His eldest son, Will, had just returned to Rochester after medical training, and his second son, Charlie, still in medical school, both joined W.W. to care for tornado victims. In response to this experience, the sisters later built St. Mary's, a 12-bed hospital, with the three Mayo doctors as surgeons and the sisters of St. Francis as nurses. The success of the Mayo Clinic is said to have happened because of W.W.'s early concept of a group practice and his appreciation for collaboration. It all started with the dad and two sons working together along with the sister teachers turned nurses and the research and education that follows the shared work of a team.